Let's see another example uh, for case sensitivity. In this case, the, let's see file handles in the scal scalar and this context. But the regular way that you use to uh, read files is, is like this. We have a file name, we open or die the file, and then we read the file line by line, assigning all the time uh, the read line operator, this less than and greater than sign, to a scalar. And this would read line by line, row by row. But this would actually f look for the first new line character and try to and read uh, till that point. And that's because it's uh, reading in scalar context. What happens if we read it in, in array context? Then, in this case, you just open uh, the file handler, another different file handler to the same file, and assign the read line operator to an array. In this case, Perl will read in all the file, the whole file, and each row in the original file will be one element in this array. So the first row will be element 0, the second row element 1, and so on. It, all of the lines will include the new lines, so every row will end with a new line, and using chomp on the array, we'll be, we will be able to get rid of all of the new lines at once. If you then print out this code, if you call this code, it will, this will print out the number of rows. Why not the content of the rows? Because you will see a dot here. A dot is a concatenation, so it needs two strings on both sides. Then this array is in scalar context, so it will return the number of elements. And then we concatenate another string, but that's already less relevant, less important. So this way you can see that even in the read line, the file handler in the read line operator in scalar and list context, they behave differently. Now I wouldn't use this uh, kind of uh, code if the file can be large, because this will eat up all the memory. So be careful, most of the cases you use this way, but then, then there are some cases when you prefer to have all the file in the, in the memory as an array.